this is a project. Can I plate bismuth on the, in, on the brass sheets? I can really smell the hydrochloric acid in the bismuth. This is the bismuth. And this is potassium iodide, two grams. See? Business salt. I have a bit of asthma. Have to dissolve it with more water, but this should work for plating bismuth. I'm just getting out as much of the bismuth solution as possible. That's about 500 millimeters, so this is going to be about a liter. I put in about five gram five grams of, of bismuth metal, bismuth trioxide with two hundred and fifty milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid, which got quite hot. And now I'm gonna be inserting this electrode and plugging in. Can you see? The negative is the, is the electrode. And the, um, and the uh, foil, which is, this is a cut up This is a, a cut up as um, uh, brass. I'm going to see if I can plate it. I'm hopeful that it will work, but I, I don't know. Will it corrode the edges of the brass? That I'm not sure. I'm wearing a safety goggles because I was working with hydrochloric acid and bismuth and iodine, potassium iodide, which is pretty harsh as a chemical. Look at that, it's already turning a little bit black. This is working, it will take some time, but this is bismuth plating onto on, on, onto um, brass. This should work for copper and other metals. This is more beautiful because it has a contrast between brass and bismuth, which, like this aluminum, you might be able to get, you might be able to get this kind of contrast, a greenish color with a Dragondorf reagent, which is absolutely stunning. 
Sorry for my difficulty breathing. This kind of triggered some kind of asthma. So I'm going to let this run. And I'll give posts online of what it, what it looks like over a long period of time. But this should work very well to give an interesting result. You can already, you can already see the business on the other side. Coating on the copper, which I might have to um, take it off after a period of time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Can out.